Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am so happy you're here. And if you are like me, you do many projects inside your house and outside of your house. And if you are like me, you typically carry something like this around. You have a bucket and it's got some tools in it and it's got some templates and it's got some supplies like screws and whatnot and everything else. And then before you know it, you're carrying around two, three buckets because you just have so much stuff, especially if you're outside. When I'm working outside, I have so much to do and typically it's a big job on the exterior of my house. I need a work cart. This is not a typical work cart. Work cart. A typical work cart is something with hard uh, caster wheels, something you roll around on cement, maybe asphalt if you have nice rubber uh, wheels. I need something that goes on grass, goes over gravel, goes over snow if I need it to. And at that point, I realized I needed a monster cart and they don't sell one. So I went ahead, I did a quick little design of what I thought would be a good cart. And you'll see in that design that it's, it's pretty much just a two layer cart, two level cart, you know, and some of the design aspects of it is that I really want to be able to take my cordless tools and have uh, an organized tool cart to where I can utilize the sides of the cart, I can utilize the top, I can put supplies on it, I can have a, a light on it, I can have a radio, I can do all these different things while staying very organized and I can do what I really need to do in order to get the job done and not have to keep pulling things out, putting things back in, searching through the bucket and stuff like that. That's just annoying, especially if you're gonna take a tool bag and then a supply bucket and then your trash bucket and everything else. So what we're gonna be going through today is how I built the monster cart. Just follow along, watch the video. You're gonna see how I build it and then uh, we'll circle back at the end. Everybody, so here it is, the finished product. I gotta say, I think it turned out a little bit better than I expected, and uh, I hope it turned out a little bit better than you expected as well, especially for my Frankenstein's sketches. So let's start from the bottom, and we'll work our way all the way up, starting with the wheels, the 10-inch pneumatic rubber wheels. They really provide great travel over rough terrain, especially outdoors. That clip, um, I'm actually moving this through just about five, six inches of snow, and the cart is full, and it worked out beautifully. Uh, steering is pretty typical. You know, with a wagon, you can, you know, just pull it. It's better to pull it, not really push it. Um, and that works out, that works out fantastic. Okay, so as we move our way up, uh, you're going to notice that I have tools mounted all the way around the sides, and these are really nice. They slide on and off, you know, they hang. Whenever you have a typical tool cart, you're going to find that 
all your tools and things are laying on top of your supplies that you need. So this gets them off to the sides as much as possible. I built a little shelving system up here, and this is twofold, really. Um, I have all of them, and I built it to where it's deep enough to where it has a little lip. So they slide right in so they don't fall whenever you're uh, pulling the wagon or the work cart. And, um, you know, it's got a nice little lip on the top shelf here. Um, I also put a uh, lip there. And this is just really convenient. The great thing that's about this cart is this top shelf is, is one of my... Um, I think best ideas for the entire cart and the reason why is because with this light wherever I'm working the spotlight I can just shine it down it gives me a, a higher level of uh, visibility and then as always if I'm working and it's late outside I can't see what I'm doing and I you know we can turn this on you know better yet just check out the clip And that really provides just a really nice bright light that I can see everything here. I can see what I'm working on. I can see my tools and it's all good. It's just a uh, very good way uh, to work around the cart itself. Okay, now we're taking a look at the back side. And this is a huge part and probably my biggest motivation for this cart itself is that I wanted a wall that I can mount and organize my tools as we get out there. Like I said in the front, whenever you pile all your tools and crap on top of your supplies, it just makes the job that much harder. I'm trying to get away from that. With that being said, um, I was able to mount my chargers up top. Um, I have batteries that are mounted that I can see, and it's just really convenient. And I have a power strip here on the side that powers all my chargers and um, that's why I could use the extension cords but there is something else and you saw it earlier and that's the power pack this will charge a, a smaller battery it won't charge all three of them and that's to be expected but with this power pack the 40 volt it will charge uh, some of the other batteries or it'll power a light whatever I really need it to do uh, This is my last resort. It has a USB built in here too in case I need to charge my phone or something um, But really what this comes down to is it comes down to organization and I, I Can't say this enough that in order to have to be properly organized you need things like mounts you know, things like this. There's there's so many different ones. And I have the Craftsman platform, the Milwaukee platform, and the Ryobi platform. And you can see how these are sliding down. They actually latch up, you know, and they actually latch like they're in, you know, batteries. And th this is extremely nice to have, whether it's in your shop or on a cart. And it's super helpful right here. You can see if you have a, uh, a belt clip, you can just hang there. This is cool. This is for um, Milwaukee. I hang a Milwaukee light here, but you know, it just, it just hangs off. If you have M12, go here. I have M12 platform as well. And this is probably my favorite. Uh, so this is for the Ryobis, and you know they do have the stem um, or the battery pole, whatever you call it. You can switch it. Um, I like to have the drill facing this way, but it's easily, it comes on, goes off. It's great for storage. So guys, that was the biggest point of this entire project is to stay organized, to make sure that I have everything where I need it at any point in time. I'm not wasting a lot of time going through a bunch of supplies and losing stuff and getting frustrated. That's pretty much half my life losing things and misplacing things. So I'm really trying to make a big effort to uh, stop that. I think the same way for my shop. As you can see here, this is another way to organize. I don't do all my tools this way, but it, it's great for my local tools where I need them right above the workbench just to have them here. Uh, you know, I have a couple hanging up there. Um, and then, you know, this houses three batteries for Ryobi. And I have a couple M18s here, a couple M12s there. And it's super, super convenient. And 
it gets it, it gets it off of the work area once again and you can see it you can clearly see it where it's at and that's super important for what you need to do so you can get these mounts for almost every brand out there at uh, unpluggedmounts.com I'll put the link in the description but you really should check them out uh, the mounts have came very accurate and for the different types of idiosyncrasies within you know designs and they do it all so give them a shout out and check them out they're a great uh, they're a great supplier to help people keep their uh, tools organized and things like that so everyone, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope you love the monster cart because I'm already finding it's a huge help, not only in the shop, around the house, outside, any time of year. And now here is a challenge for everyone. Let's see how you do. Make your own monster cart. See how it stacks up against mine. I know there's more creative people out there. So let's get it going. I wanna see your carts. Make a video. Tag me in the video and let's see how you do. Thanks everybody for watching. Hit that like button, share the video, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all the latest and greatest in real time. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.